This is an intro and I'm gonna show you how to build some alien trees because I ran out of any other good ideas for trees so this was the best thing I could come up with so I hope you enjoy it. Okay, let's get started. For alien tree number one, I have selected these blocks to use. Of course, you're welcome to switch it up, but these three basically will be for the trunk portion of this quote unquote tree, and then this will be the flowery or just colorful part of the tree, and you can do them with any colors you want. And let's go ahead and get it started. Now I'm just using that main block there as a base, and then I'm going to surround it with walls and we'll work on building out the trunk portion of the tree with just walls. So I'm only adding a few of those, I'm adding some walls down here for some support. I guess you can think of this like the roots of the tree and once we get up to here I'm going to start switching it up into the polished walls and then I'm going to continue with the polish all the way up so the only reason I'm using different types of blackstone here is just to get a slight gradient it's not really much of a gradient because it's only two colors but it's better than just a single block now I'm going to take this and just try to make a hook-like shape with it. I don't want it to go perfectly straight on one angle, so I'm going to try to turn it every now and then just to make it a little more interesting. But I want it to go up about that high maybe, and then I'm going to turn it and have it start to come down, basically making, yeah, a little hook, if you will, of a branch. And that's pretty much what all of these are going to be. That one was probably a little bit too big, you're welcome to make it smaller or larger, it's really up to you, but I think the bigger you make it, the more branches you're going to have to add. So I'm going to redo this real quick and make it just a tad smaller. All right, there it is, just a little bit smaller, and I think that's a more reasonable size. You can add as many or as few as you would like. I don't think it needs a whole lot, but it is just an alien tree. You can make it look however you want. And this was just a really random design I came up with. I don't even know if I like it, but <laughs> hey, it looks weird and unique, so that's why we're making a tutorial. If you are doing this in survival, it's easier to build from the ground up up until you get to the top of the hook shape. And then you're gonna have to switch to underneath the branch to get the lower portion of it. That's the most annoying thing about building trees in survival, even alien trees, is having to get the branches that hook down like that. But once you get the hang of doing it, it's not too bad. I'm also making sure all of my branches are ending at different heights. I don't want them to all be the same. I think I'm gonna move this one down a bit just to add more variation there with the heights. And I only have five, you could add more. Doesn't really matter too much for this one. I might do a sixth one in the front just to fill in this gap a little more. I'll just have it going off of here and going down like this. Yeah, so I'll just keep this weird tree. And once you have all of your branches, I'm just going to take the crying obsidian and I'm doing the exact same pattern on the ends of all of these. I'm going to do two crying obsidian, an amethyst in the center, and surround the amethyst with the glass. So that's kind of like the, the blossom, the bud, whatever you want to call it, of this tree. If you have a branch that's on a diagonal like this, you could try doing it on a diagonal, but it will also work just as well to keep it on the straight angle like this. Again, these aren't real trees, we're just making this up, so whatever looks best to you. And I've got one more to add here. Alright, that doesn't look terrible, but I think I do want to add one more taller one along the top. I just don't like how everything is around the same level, so I think I'm going to try to find one of these branches. I'll go off of this one since this only has one and actually I'm going to go off of the middle here make it go really tall and then curl around 
very high up just so we have a little more height here because I do think it looks a little better when you have a little more height. There we go. So go at that. I think that looks better. So there's your first alien tree. If you think of a good name for what to call this, I don't know what to call it, but let's move on to the next design, shall we? For this next tree, we have all of these blocks we're going to be using. I have a gradient of blocks selected for the trunk, and then you can grab any color that you think would look good with this. We're primarily going to be using the diorite for the trunk, but you can do any color you want for the top. As long as you have a gradient of the block of your choice, I think it will work out well. We're going to start with the darkest block. I'm just going to make a little cross just as a base. It doesn't have to be a cross. I'm just going to use that as a starter. Then I'm going to move on to the polished and I'm going to work my way up through the gradient. So maybe just doing one to two blocks of each one at a time. And once we get to a certain point, we can only use the diorite walls once we get to the lightest block. So I'm just keeping the gradient on the base until we get up here. And then I'm going to create kind of like a half circle shape. I'm going to bend it outward and then bend it inward for no particular reason other than that's the shape that I want for this tree. So yeah, we're just going to be creating that shape with most of our branches. And if we want to branch off of this one too and maybe do some diagonal ones, that's perfectly fine as well. The key here is to try to keep them spaced far apart because we want to allow room for the red flowering portion on top. These trees really do resemble flowers. They could almost pass off as flowers if you did build them in your world, but I'm referring to them as trees just for the sake of this video. And that was my intention when I was designing them was to make them look like some weird alien tree. But yeah, I know they look like flowers. but just pretend they're a tree. What you can do is go off of each of these four corners until you get the branches all filled out. So now I'm gonna go off of this one and I need to find the block to start with. There we go. And I'm going to just build this up. Building on diagonals will also help create a more dynamic shape. But once I get to the top, I'm going to start bending it inward and I'm keeping the branches just all going straight up because what we're going to be doing is taking the red blocks or the flowering part and we're going to be covering the top portion of these branches with it. So these are more or less a guideline for where we're going to put those. I think in the back here, I'm also going to create another branch going off of there. If I see something would connect better on a different part of a branch, I am adjusting it as I see the need to do so. If you're not sure how many branches to add, it's really up to you. It depends on what kind of shape you want for your tree, how busy do you want to look. Do you want it to look good from just a certain angle or do you want it to look good from every angle? These are all things you have to consider when building any tree. And I usually like to look at it from one angle, but I forget to fly around it and see how it looks from all angles. I don't know if I love this branch coming out in the front. Maybe I will bend it the other way. Maybe add a little bit of a twist to it just to make it a little more interesting because I'm trying to look at it from this angle and make sure they all don't cross in front of each other too much. Not that it makes a huge difference, I'm just being picky. I think I'm okay with this tree. It's not as good as the one that I had pre-designed, <laughs> but no two trees will ever be the same, so I'm just going to work with this. And for the flowering part, or the leaf part of the tree, I'm going to take the darkest block I have here and start building it around about halfway down the diorite stem, maybe a third of the way down. And I'm just placing these like I would ordinarily do for leaves. 
leaving some air blocks, also leaving some of the diorite walls exposed. We don't want to cover every single side of it. And then I'm going to move on to the next color in my palette and add a few of those. And once we've done that, we can go on to the next color and so on and so forth. But I am following the shape of this branch and I want the tops of these to come to a point for no reason other than that's how I was designing them and I thought it would look kind of cool to make it kind of come to a point. Oof, this one looks really bad. Let me do a better example for you. I might have to adjust some of my branches in order to get this to look like I want it to. That was a very bad example. This is a little bit better, a little bit shorter, and I think I need to fill it in down here a little more. It is nice to have the base a little bit thicker than the top parts. Alright, there's one done. I'm going to start filling in the others. This tree I find is a little bit trickier to design than some of the other ones I'm showing you just because of the weird unique shapes and the very specific shapes that I'm going for. But you don't have to make yours look like mine. I'm just making this video as a way to inspire you maybe in designing your own trees or alien trees. These were just some random ideas I came up with. So if you want to adjust your tree design to do something a little bit different, by all means, go for it. It's hard for me to explain my thought process when building these, so I'm going to just speed through the rest of this. I think I've explained it well enough, or the best that I know how. So I'm going to speed through the rest of these and see how it looks when I'm done. All right, here is what I have for my tree. I do think it looks better if you can get some bigger air gaps in between the branches like that versus that one I have on that side. I think it looks better from this side, for example, than it does from up here just because of how that branch is covering all of that. But I guess it depends on how dense you want the tree to look. I just think my one that I designed originally looks better than this one, but what can you do? Every tree is unique, so we're going to keep this one as it is for now. Oh, after I do that. And that. Okay, I'll, I'll stop touching it now. Here are all of the blocks I'm going to be using for this final tree. We have a set of tealish blocks for the trunk and some pink blocks for the leafy part of the tree. I know these are all such a big variety of blocks, so they're not the most practical to get in survival, especially the prismarine with all these other things, but this is what I have found works the best for this tree, just to use these particular colors, which coincidentally looks a lot like cotton candy, so I think I want to call this tree the cotton candy tree, just for the colors alone. With the other trees, I did start by just straight up building the gradient, but this time I think I'm going to build out the whole trunk using the warped hyphae and then we'll just throw in the cyan later on as additional texturing because that's really the only reason I'm using the cyan to begin with. I want this trunk to be a little bit thicker so I'm going to first make a single curve of where one of the branches goes and then we're going to work on building out the rest of the trunk but right now we're just going to keep it skinny and I'm going to build out a single branch up to a certain point. I'm not going to go too far with this because we are going to switch to slabs eventually, but we'll just do something like that to start ourselves off. And I want to kind of make a little circle around this. So if it's hollow, that's fine, but I'm going to just start filling this in and just trying to get a, an interesting trunk shape. So there is no particular thing I'm doing here. I'm literally just spamming blocks and I'm going to fill this in, but you probably don't have to. That's a huge waste of blocks. Please don't fill it in. I'm just doing it because I'm in creative and I can. We can probably come back and adjust some things, but let's start adding more branches to it. So I'm just going off of this big base I have now and I'm just gonna start adding a few branches. They're not gonna go very far because we are going to finish them off with the slabs, but we can at least get those started. And I'm going to do one in the back here as well. And we'll just go up like this a little bit. Maybe stop it there. Here's what I have for the trunk so far. It might be a little bit too thick in some places, but we can always come back and adjust it. So now I'm going to take the slabs and go off of these three little branches I have here and 
extend them just a little bit. And something that I'm doing specifically for this tree is even if I stack it up a little bit, I'm making sure that it ends on a top slab. That gives me room to put a block directly on top of it. So we don't want any of these to be bottom slabs just because we want to be able to put these on directly on top of them. But you can stack them up as long as you have the it ending on a top slab. Minecraft is being strange. There are definitely blocks there, but it's glitching. Let's go over here and put some on this branch. Is this a top slab? Yes. So how this is going to work is we have to make big flat portions in order for us to stem the leaves off of. So that's why I'm ending all of these branches in a line of slabs. So this tree is also very, very spread out. There's not going to be a whole lot involved with it, but I'm going to go ahead and add another one of these up here just to add a little more height to it maybe a little bit smaller and I think we need some more in the front don't we because this front part is very very empty so I'm going to bring this up and a little branch up here maybe going off in that direction and yeah I think that's that's pretty good it's kind of empty in the front but let's see how this is looking and see if I actually need to put any additional leaves up there I, I might lower some of these so they're not all the exact same height because I've seen now some of them are really close to each other so yeah just keep adjusting it as you see the need to all right so I've got these five no six branches and on each of these, I'm going to be doing the same pattern. So I'm looking for those slabs that are the top slabs, and I'm just going to be creating some kind of big lumpy shape on top. It can overlap, it doesn't have to. And on top of that, we're going to be placing a few of these um, glazed pink terracotta blocks. I'm going to trace around the entire thing with the glass, but I'm not going to put the glass in every spot, just in most spots. And I'm not putting it on top, I'm just putting it all on these two sides of these. We do also want to put them under here next to the branch just to fill that in a little more and make it look fuller. And then the top, it can be a little more sporadic. Now we're going to take the glass panes and just start hanging these from different parts of this branch. We don't want to have too many of these though, just a few to make it look kind of like it's dripping something. I don't know. It just looks really interesting. So that's an example of a single branch. And now we're going to repeat that on all of these other ones. And again, if you see the heights of all these branches and you see two of them are really close to each other, like this one and this one are really close, I might go in and adjust it some more so that they aren't exactly the same. Or maybe I'll just raise this one up an extra block. But you're welcome to do whatever you want with your tree. I'm just going to be very picky with mine as usual. Now to repeat this pattern on all of the branches, I will be back with you when I get all of those done. So here's what I have for the tree so far. I'm not liking how short the trunk is. It just doesn't look as good as my original concept, but that's okay. No two trees will ever look alike. The only thing I haven't done yet is adding the wool and you don't have to do this step unless you really want to. But I just like to mix it in on some of the lower portions of the tree just to add a bit of a gradient. You just want to kind of follow the flow of the lines and try to incorporate some shadow into the tree. That's pretty much all I'm doing here. So I'm doing it underneath of some of the branches, but I'm also just doing it in some of the crevices. I should have done it in here actually, in the crevices of the tree and places like that. So it's not really an absolutely necessary step, but it does make the tree look a little more interesting to add some kind of texture to it. And you can't even throw more texture to it than what I'm doing, more colors to the gradient, but I'm just making a very subtle one in this case, which I think does serve its purpose. Sometimes it's so hard for me to just stop and be satisfied with these trees. Half the time I'm just have to stop and realize it's not going to be perfect because it's just a tutorial, but this is just how I am. It's hard for me to stop tweaking everything I touch. All right, I made some more adjustments. I know it was so hard for me to just leave it, 
but I think it does look a little better. I just tried to distribute the branches a little more so they weren't all going the same direction. They weren't all going toward the back, so I moved this one to the front, and I think it does look better. So there is your alien tree number three, aka the cotton candy tree. This was my first attempt ever trying to design alien-like trees. Yes, I still think the second one does look like a flower, but let me know your thoughts on these, if they actually look like trees or if you're actually going to use them. I have no idea. I just thought about this idea for a tutorial for types of trees I can make that I've never made before. So how about inventing trees? Make up something and see what you think of it. I hope you found this video to be truly inspirational, and I will see you later. Bye!